Welcome back to World of Warships and yeah, this is not a editing thing. This is what happened to me in the second battle of the day in ranked. The hut was completely flackering or you know, just doing weird stuff. Now this is actually the good thing and I could aim. I wanted to show you a bit of ranked battles because I think it's a pretty different meta to what you are used to from your normal random battle in World of Warships at least. We have kind of a very similar system in War Thunder which is called RRB. Here I fired HE because it's an angled New Mexico, quite tanky, quite a beast and I got just two hits. So yeah, this was very distracting here. You can see the hut is completely off. It began off that I wanted to make a screenshot for a nice thumbnail and I wanted to readjust the hut or, you know, reinstall it and it was just simply gone. The funny thing is how it worked, how it actually flickered at longer distances or at certain points you still could um, aim from time to time like you can see here but on in other cases you just couldn't and I just wanted to show you those few moments to my inevitable death. Uh, it happened very early on in the game so um, because of the lack of precision fire that I usually support my DDs and cruises with with the Fuso I just couldn't do it. You can see at this moment the aiming radical is just simply there. I can't aim. I literally can't aim. Now the ships are still rendered when they have uh, when they are spotted like this Leander. However you can see I have no idea how to shoot. This was my best guess and you can see the salvo still hits. It was sadly just an HE salvo so the reload on battleships is still long enough that you have to think a lot of uh, in advance. Here you can see me it's desperately switching uh, you know to get maybe a glimpse literally of the aiming radical. <laughs> it was so stupid I had to show it to you. I took a uh, unnecessary amount of damage, I couldn't rely on the radar, I couldn't rely on my teammates that were already dead. I cut out the first like 10 minutes or so of this demise and now there was a bit of flag ring that's all I needed for a ripple salvo and the Leander was gone. So it was actually my second kill or something like that in this uh, case, I was angled okay against the New Mexico so that kind of took a lot of uh, unnecessary damage away. Now you can see here the uh, aiming for secondary still somehow worked. It was really really strange. I didn't press any unknown you know key combinations or something like that. However I restarted the game afterwards and then it was okay again. And here comes a torpedo from the Leander and I'm dead. So that was my second battle. But what about the first one? Oh boy. Now this here right now is the second battle, uh, is the first battle of the day. And you can see a different camouflage. So that's, that was my last shot of this uh, camouflage. I have no idea how it is called. And you can see here in chat, um, yeah, we go for A. So communication is very important. You see usually just this behavior in War Thunder uh, in terms of communication quality or communication at all between bombers when they just mark their targets and then they fly straight towards them. So again, I was criticized for my last fusel video that it wasn't exceptionally good in terms of tactics and yeah I kind of have to agree however it was again in a battle that just showed what the ship is capable of in certain situations the ripple fire you have six double barrel turrets that is just something uh, really really nice 
You are not in New Mexico, so when I began to play World of Warships, the New Mexico was more of the tank, and the fusel was more of the long range snap. The stop fusel, awful, the upgrade fusel, you never want to stop playing it. When you have a heart for battleships, that is. These days, battleships uh, got nerfed and buffed and whatsoever. Now you can see me the spotter plane. The spotter plane uh, gives you a, not just additional range, but also additional view. In rank battles, this is also important for shooting British cruisers that are sitting in smoke or destroyers, and you can punish them heavily. So the enemy fusel gives a bit of broadside, a bit of ripple fire, a bit of different leads and elevation. And I see that he has targeted me. Priority target is a very useful skill. It's usually my first skill, regardless of uh, destroyer or battleship or cruiser. It doesn't matter. This skill is so useful. And you can see he's eating quite some damage, but not by far not a knockout blow. It's still a fuso. It's still a very capable and tanky battleship. At least when you angle it. So, what about ranked? Well, why do I actually play ranked? I don't play World of Warships uh, as intensely as I play War Thunder. No doubt about that. However, ranked is always a nice mix-up and it actually provides you with a lot. And I mean, a lot of flags that normally I personally don't have the chance to get that often. They provide you with different things that you can use, um, secondary, more income, uh, secondary battery, fire, um, increase and range and so on, and um, fire chance, flooding reduction, all kinds of good things. And especially the first few ranks, you can, you just usually have to win one battle and you step up one rank. Now, later on, it's much more difficult, but I think uh, most games that I played were a win. And I always felt like I had a very good impact in it. I'm not a very good destroyer captain. I mean, I could train it, but I have no interest in it. These pew pew guns, uh, you know, for World of Warship standards, that's a difference. They, they just don't have any satisfaction for me. I like over penetrations on battleships, of which I just got three. Yeah. Yeah, well. And, you know, so it's very rewarding. You still can um, grind your ships that you want, so you can participate with them into it. However, for rank, it's very important to be in a very competitive ship. And I think the Fuso is one of them. I think rank 6 for or tier 6 for ships is something nice because I guess every tier 6 battleship has something unique for it. The the Bayern in particular is a very good all-rounder and it's a massive massive force when it comes to brawling. The Fuso is a very, very capable long-range damage dealer with a reduced reload rate. The New Mexico, well, it also has the Alpha Strike, kind of, but it lacks the reload compared to the Fuso. And it's more of a, I'd say, mid-range tank, but it's much uh, slower. Then there's obviously also the War Spite. It's not as tanky as the Bayern, but the guns are much more accurate with much more penetration, which you feel. Talking about penetration, well, there is also the Mutsu. The Mutsu with its 16.1 inch guns, I guess, those 410s at tier 6, well, it overmatches a lot of bow and stern armor. I guess all bow and stern armor at this battle rating, um, I'm sorry, tier. Yeah, mixing up two games is never a good idea. And so now I think to myself, well, what to do? And I play with the thought of focusing this enemy Fuso. What can I do? Uh, hit this other ship? No, I can't. So I focus the Fuso. But he's at a very weird angle that I can see the beautiful salvo and nothing. 
I literally get nothing uh, compared to what was um, possible. Now the Fusil fires back, I play a bit with my speed, I play a bit with the rudder, and so the damage is not that great. I still receive some damage, but you know, it was not a Citadel blowout. Blow out, which kind of happens rarer and rarer these days. So, battleship gameplay is like any other ship type it's always it's kind of an art form you have to understand it where are the strengths and weaknesses of your ship the fuso has no good triple a but doesn't matter because i have not seen a cv at this tier in a long time good job of by wargaming to wipe them out another full salvo for the fuso and i turn in now, it is very important to support the ships that are kind of in an awkward position or have a, made a bit of a mistake and now gets focused. However, sometimes also the enemy ships overextend and then you have to punish them. Now there is a New Mexico and he's much closer and he is presenting a much better broadside than the Fuso. So I switch fire, but it was kind of an overlead. He turns in, but just 5,000, not even 5,000 damage. That's not too good. I should have hauled my salvo for that Cleveland. Such cruisers, yeah, they hate the Fuso. They hate the Fuso because all of those guns and uh, still the decent turret traverse. It's not German turret traverse, but it's still okay. And that was underleading, however, 13.2 thousand damage securing me the kill. And that was very important. So up until this point, this battle seems to be over. Yes, we have one ship less. However, we are in the points lead. And to be honest, I very often make the mistake of not really um, adapting to the situations. And it's very, very easy to just yeah to uh, overextend a little bit or to go to bit uh, far off to one side and uh, if you then don't know what you're doing you have difficulty so we have one cap the enemy team has no cap but it's just me and a graf spee against four enemy ships so i have to deal with two battleships and my German cruiser companion has to deal with two enemy cruisers. However, if I make it correctly, angle against the battle battleships and focus the cruisers whenever they are stupid enough to, well, actually go out of cover and open themselves up for my guns, I can punish them. So here, I just try to swing the ship around with the guns, and even if I just have half of the guns, uh, pointed at somebody that's six big guns and they have Japanese accuracy they are really not that bad so here I made kind of the mistake of opening up for this uh, enemy fuso my rudder shift time isn't too great and now I try to focus the Leander shots out they look good yes a citadel and two other penetrations that was a punishing salvo and you really have to deal especially with those British uh, light cruisers because they were kind of a little bit of a power creep with their uh, very sensitive fuse on the shells with their uh, combination of depends on exactly the ship on of radar sonar smoke screens and so on however they are squishy as the second citadel goes in he goes down and that now brought us again a few points my Grau B captured B and now I tried to lure them into uh, security I tried to focus the Cleveland but yeah it was not punishing enough uh, just uh, one over penetration and a bounce the New Mex the Arizona here which is very similar to the New Mexico 
well, he makes it very difficult for me. And from now on, I'm in an awkward position. The Fuser is not spotted and he can punish me with long range fire. The Arizona can absorb all my AP shots when I'm angled, even if I aim at the superstructure. You know, he's three quarters up with health. It's uh, pretty difficult to put him down with that. I tried to aim for the bow armor here, but you know, it was not too good and just two bounces. Now, as when the salvo was out, obviously the fuser popped up and now I need to actually think about going back um, to make kind of a stand, kind of a fight. So this fuser ripple fires, I see him, I angle myself away from him and fire an HE salvo that was actually a thought for the Arizona makes its way to the Fuso. Let's have a look at it. Looks good. And the fire. So of course those big battleship guns and their shells have quite a nice fire chance. And five penetrations. Yeah, you should get a fire here. So here ripple fires again. And then my AP salvo goes out. I'm still angled against him. I think the Fuso has some fantastic gun angles um, where compared to the ship angle and the gun angles pointing at an enemy that's always something nice the Arizona is now kind of distracted by the Graf Spee and uh, yeah I try to swing the guns around and try to go back but I must not open myself for those citadel shots if he decides to go for them well I have a problem Good salvo, 11,000 damage without a citadel. So that was kind of surprising, but those American battleships have quite some tough belt armor. They lack the turtle back, like actually every nation lacks it, except for the hood, I guess, and maybe some of the upcoming British battleships. Well, the Germans obviously excel in that at close range. They are outright impossible to citadel. Uh, except some very weird uh, situations. And now it's very difficult. Should I um, go sideways on, bring the front guns to bear? But the Fuso is still hammering me. He, now the Arizona is kind of shooting me. And yeah, you could see a lot of bounces there. That was good. So another HE salvo out for him. Let's have a look how it goes. Uh, just one hit, just knock the AAA emplacement out of action and another salvo goes out from the front guns and they nearly land all in the water except two. That's not the damage that I want, so he is giving me all hell of problems. In a 1 vs 1, the Arizona is really a tough nut to crack. I don't have 15 inch guns like the Bayern or the Warspite or those 16 inch guns or 16 plus inch guns from uh, the Mutsu and that was a nasty hit I think both battleships hit me here simultaneously despite great angling I took a lot of damage and you can see here on the map I tried to keep the distance I don't want to go into a brawling situ situation uh, I could make a YOLO rush but I look at the table at the, at the timer, 5 minutes to go and we have the point advantage. And the Graf Spee uh, is kind of a cheeky bastard as he tries to sneak uh, into the cap to get it under the Fuso's and Arizona's nose. Now, both now have to react. If they lose A, it's certainly over for them, if then the Graf Spee manages to run away. But also, they really can't ignore the guns of the Graf Spee. Yes, there are just 11 uh, inch guns, but they are 11 inch guns on a cruiser. So now I get a fire and multiple hits here on the Arizona and that was kind of an important damage dealing salvo. Also it shows me that his uh, damage control party is down and now I now I am uh, loading the AP, I'm aiming, salvo out. Now, I think this is the time where I can swing my ship around and try to uh, hit the Fuso. 
However, my ship and my guns are counter-rotating and uh, that's not good. So I still focus the Arizona, which was a mistake. Again, the Fuso is on much lower health than the uh, Arizona. And again, I have HE loaded when AP is obviously the better choice. But the ships make fast movements that I can reload my guns. Just two hits, no fire, his fire is out. And they are both focusing the Graf Spee. And the Fuser is so close now that he is in serious danger of eating some torps from the Graf Spee. Again, I switch to AP. This is an HE salvo on the Arizona. And this is now the moment where I make a good hit. But again, now we are kind of on, on, on equal health. But that's not good enough. I need to make a knockout blow now. And now I'm the last player there. And it just baffled me that he didn't turn into me. Salvo out. And I hoped for the best. And indeed 10,000 damage. That was a very important salvo. So the Fuso is now in stealth or in cover. And obviously I'm aimed at by both of them. So I'm spotted and... Yeah, this Arizona now opens up. I try to turn into him in time and also shoot a last salvo. It was an HE salvo. And another fire. And when I look at my damage counter, that fire was immediately extinguished. In this state of the gameplay, especially when facing another battleship, you can extinguish the fire. But early on in the battle, that often can end up with you get set on fire afterwards with multiple fires and then you take severe damage. Fire damage is repairable. So I turn away from the island because I knew what he was thinking about. I have a spotter plane still, like you saw me using in the beginning of the battle. Now I pop it and I see him. So he spots me as well with, uh, with his plane. I shoot at the bow and try to turn away as good as I can from his salvo. A few shells get eaten by the island, but ultimately I put him down. I eat a bit of damage in return and now also the Fuso was in position to sh shoot me but I have such a big um, points advantage that I simply turn away and run. There is no good in now turning in and uh, risking the chance um, or risking it to uh, give the Fuso a chance to uh, put the last remaining shells into me to, and so uh, for me to give away the uh, secured or the sure win let's put it that way I already have one if I don't die that's the last thing that I have to do and you can see I already have my three kills we are in a massive points advantage it's not just a question if the time runs out or we get enough tickets from the capture point I did a bit of blind firing here, but ultimately it uh, was <laughs> kind of just a shot into the blue, literally. So, and that's the time. Let's have a quick look at the results. And we can see this is me going from 20th to 19th rank and I get a lot, and I mean a lot of flags. Rank battles is very interesting. I think it's a great idea. Such a system should we also should have in uh, War Thunder, but we also kind of have with RRB. But you don't have kind of the ranked system. But the game mode with a fewer players is also very interesting. Three kills, nearly two thousand base XP is always nice, and. Uh, how important I was for this game is, is really shown with one number. And that's the potential damage that I received. 3 million potential damage. That's just insane. I did a 142,000 damage just with my IP shells. And I think this just shows that the Fuso is not just a great um, 
ship for the normal random battle but also for ranked. 13,000 captain experience points is quite something. It actually gives me two additional captain points and you can see my captain is uh, very low when it comes to overall points. Uh, this is now going from 3 to 5 points in two battles. So my World of Warships account is now two years old. <laughs> it's quite something. And I choose to go for the Expert Marksman for faster turret rotation speed on Japanese battleships. It's always nice to uh, have this as well. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the waves of World of Warships.